so this is Cherub, my Cocker Spaniel, and here are her new puppies. Oh, she's really hungry this morning. She's just so tired, so hungry. She hasn't even been out of her box, this wonderful romping box which she chose to be in. Let's have a little moment of celebration, shall we, Cherubs? You manage. You've got six beautiful puppies, yeah? And you're doing so well. Let's celebrate the moment. <laughs> First day of motherhood. Today really is a day of rest. <laughs> you can see we both need it. Yeah, and look at her. She's really just resting here. Our little puppies are all sleeping too. Let's talk to you about rest today. Sometimes when we're very busy, we don't even really know when we need to rest. We're almost too caught up in the doing mode to realize that on a being mode, as a human being, we might just need to rest. It might even feel like rest is for sissies, which is something you don't really need. But actually, I think we all do need to recharge our batteries. We do need to rejuvenate. So when you rest, what do you actually do? You must know, well, what helps me rest? Might be for you cooking, just chopping the vegetables very gently, do the activities. I know when I go for a jog, my mind clears and I often allow it to sort of smell over, perhaps the next paragraph or something I'm writing, something like that. But one of the important things is to let my mind be relaxed. People often think mindfulness meditation is about being very focused, staying in the now all the time. Well, I think that does happen, but also I believe the mind needs time to just relax and that may mean to drift. I call it the right to roam. And this for me is where I recharge. My mind has that kind of creative outlet. And it may be I'm just meandering down little pathways of my own, or it may be that I'm supported by listening to, for example, I love the spoken word. I love listening to plays and dramas and, uh, and audio books. Some people love music. You need to work out what works for you and what allows your mind that chance to relax, to rest. What's the difference between rest and procrastination. As far as I would see it, the difference is that when we rest, we do it consciously. Yeah. Procrastination isn't necessarily a conscious resting, so there's often that edge of guilt or discomfort. I should be getting on, but I'm not. So we're not really resting either, and we can't really enjoy our own downtime if we're feeling guilty. But when we rest, we do it consciously. We decide, okay, I'm gonna have a rest now. So actually we nourish ourselves or we rejuvenate more because we bring that conscious awareness. And this is the mindful principle. Whatever we do mindfully grows. So today, I hope you enjoy your rest time. Cherub and I will certainly enjoy ours. There she is. Well earned rest for our new mum. Six brand new puppies. And I'll have a little rest time as well. And I wish you a very gentle, restful day, just when you choose which of course will give you the energy to be really productive when you need to be as well. <laughs>